This video will be about the interaction between moisture and materials. And we can, it's a fact that the building materials attract moisture. And we'll learn to understand the concept of surface tension, capillary action, hygroscopic stored moisture. Um, you see on to the right hand picture, we see a, a, a small thread of uh, iron, a loop that is floating on water, and it's floating on, on the surface of water. And you see down to the left, an illustration between all the water molecules that is attracted to each other and they keep uh, stay together down in, in uh, the water uh, part of the glass. And it's quite powerful uh, attractions, uh, but up at in the surface, the uh, molecules can just attract, they just attract each other but there's a less attraction to, to the air. So if something tries to break this bond between the water molecules, it's quite difficult and it requires uh, some power. So they keep strongly enough together to uh, avoid something that is breaking this, these bonds. Kepler forces. Um, the picture to, down to the left, we see a, a small tube, a glass tube, and you put it down into the water. The, the water pillar will rise up, and we typically ha have this type of picture. And we also see to the right, the right hand picture, how the water is wetting the glass. We can talk about the contact angle between the water and, and the glass. And basically what happened is that the water molecules are very strongly attracted to the glass molecules, the silica. So they actually dragged up to the, the, um, the glass surface by the attraction to the, the wall molecules. So it can actually lift the whole water pillar. And once there is an, an, uh, an balance between the lifting force and, and the gravity, it will stop. Uh, we can also illustrate this with a kind of under pressure, a suction that is in this meniscus of, of the water, the more water surface meniscus. It's actually there is a water uh, under pressure that so sucks up the water. We we'll talk about capillary suction. And capillary suction is a is a fact that it has to be accounted for in in the design of building. We, for instance, uh, um, the porous building material, uh, which is filled off small holes and that where we can have a capillary action and we have to break it otherwise uh, water will go into organic materials for instance and cause a lot of uh, damage. We find this uh, phenomena also in, when we have ma different materials in contact with each other even if they're not very wet. So this, the materials with the smallest pores will have the highest suction so it will suck moisture from, from the coarser uh, building materials. One example is wood in contact with concrete, where wood will suck water from the concrete. Here are some uh, microscopic pictures from aerated concrete by of uh, aerated concrete. Up to the left, we have the picture with the less magnification. Down to the left is the next one, and the one to the right with the highest magnifications. So inside building materials, the porous materials, there are so many, many, many pores and, and internal surfaces. And as we know now that water can be attracted by other molecules, uh, this will also happen here inside the material. So water will stick to the, the surfaces inside the building materials. And um, moisture materials, uh, we can say that if there are places or there are Porous places for for inside building materials, water will go into it, and this was known by the Italians. This is an old instrument from from Italy, and they understood there was water vapor in the air, and they they found out a way of measuring it by this stack of uh, paper discs. So it attracts moisture from from the hygroscopic moisture from the air, and uh, get uh, heavier the higher humidity we have in the surrounding air. And here is a diagram showing how much moisture can get stuck in the materials. And um, uh, to the 
down to the in the horizontal axis we have the surrounding relative humidity of the, of the air and the vertical axis shows the uh, actual amount of kilograms per cubic meter moisture that it's captured by the material or gets stuck in the material and one example for instance is uh, when you have 60% uh, relative humidity around the wood it will uh, capture around yeah, 60, 62 kilograms per cubic meter an interesting comparison is that uh, let's say 20 degrees um, uh, air with 60% 60, 60 relative humidity just contain like uh, like around 10 gram per cubic meter gram per cubic meter while wood that is surrounded by this air can capture 60 kilogram per cubic meter so there is a factor of 10,000 in between so the material they can capture 10,000 more than what is the, in the surrounding air per cubic meter and we talk about hygroscopic range that's when uh, between say 0 to 98 percent relative humidity uh, material just surrounded by uh, humid air and if they are in contact with liquid water or we can there's a condensation inside the material we can capture even more and you can fill the pore system and, and get dramatically more moisture inside the materials summary capillary suction causes water transport in tubes and fine material pore systems water can be sucked from coarse material to materials with finer pores Material just in contact with humid air causes hygroscopic moisture storage inside the pore system of a material. 